in fact, the boats that Columbus used, they were owned by Moors. One of the most famous translators, his name is Matteo da Costa. He actually was one of the black translators who came from France, and he served as a translator for the Portuguese. Columbus definitely brought black translators with him coming to the Americas, the Nino brothers more specifically. Uh, Pedro Alonso Nino was a well-renowned uh, traveler and explorer. Well, what's interesting is why would Columbus bring translators? Because it meant that if he brought African translators, they must have been speaking to African people here. Because why do you need someone to interpret if you don't speak the language and they don't speak the language? So there had to have been a commonality between the two people. But of course, you know, you, you get rid of all of that with Columbus who didn't know where the hell he's going, but he had black people with them. Pizarro had black people with them. Uh, Balboa had black people with them. Magellan had black people with them. The technology for sailing, the astrolabe, all this stuff came from either the Moors or the Swahili. When Columbus came to one of the islands and he brought one of his black translators with him, it's documented that the translator came off the boat, went into the Aboriginal society and immediately started to communicate with the Aboriginal people there. That means that there had to have been some type of previous contact for them to understand each other's language.